What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. For this video, I have a quick trick I figured might be useful to any folks who are farming things throughout the Dragon Isles. Whether this be rare spawns or reagents or anything really, if you're on a busy server it can be quite a pain to camp something without several other people flying in at Mach 9 to try and claim whatever it may be. Now this trick has plenty of other applications as well, as it's something I've used over the last couple expansions for farming rare mounts and older content and all sorts of other stuff, so hopefully this video helps give you some ideas of what it could be used for. If you have really long load screens however, this trick might be a little harder to do as a precaution. Now what this trick allows you to do is to force your character into a different shard or instance of the same zone that you're already in, ideally one with a lot less people to compete with for whatever you're trying to farm. Doing this in the Dragon Isles will require a few things, one of them being that you have to have the Dragonflight expansion of course, and two that you have to have a level 70 character, since if you're trying to farm things solo it's frankly just way easier at max level. I'm pretty sure the portal to Valdraken will only show up once you're level 70 on at least one character on your account, but I can't confirm that since I've already had the portal open for weeks and I have numerous level 70s. First, you're going to want to be on your main character, the one that you're going to be farming or gathering or hunting rares or whatever it is you're trying to do. You'll then head to the zone that you're doing that stuff in. From here, you can log out as normally, basically just anywhere you want in the zone, or you can slam Alt F4 and close the game client, something you're going to want to get used to doing with this trick. Next, we'll need to make a clash trial on a different realm. This part is a little trickier since you might not know what realm to make things on, since a lot of realms are automatically connected or have phases and shards where you see players from various realms anyways. However, the loophole to this comes into the play with RP realms. While you can do group and instance content with people from RP realms, their open world zones are still kept separate from the rest of the realm types in game. This means since there are less RP realms and therefore less players on most of those realms, you will have potentially a lot less competition when farming things. So getting back to the trick, you're going to make a clash trial on an RP realm. I believe most of these realms are connected to at least a few other ones in the groups, but to play it safe in case I'm mistaken, I always recommend picking a low pop or medium pop realm to do the trick on. When on the character creation screen, you'll see a small box in the bottom right corner above the customize button. Make sure to check this box off, and when you create whatever character you're using, it'll automatically be a level 60 clash trial. It really doesn't matter what type of character you pick, as we're literally just using them to phase our main character over to the RP realm shards. Once you've made your character, head to your faction's portal room, and you'll find that you can use the portal to Veldraken, since the character is above the minimum level requirement of 58 to go to the Dragon Isles. You'll also have access to all of your dragon riding mounts and skill glyphs as long as you've unlocked them on your account at least once before. Be sure to put your skill points into your dragon riding skill tree by clicking the little silver and white dragon icon on your minimap, otherwise you'll have a much more annoying time getting to whatever zone that you're in a farm. Now, bring this clash trial over to the same zone that your main character is parked in. I generally leave them both in exactly the same place so I can make sure that the trick is working. While still on the Clash Trial character, go to the Dungeons and Raids tab, click on Pre-Made Groups, select Custom, and start a group. Name it something you can easily remember and list the group. And here is where the real magic begins. Hit Alt F4 and force close your game. By doing this, that character is kind of in limbo for a few minutes, meaning they're technically still there. When you start your game back up from the Battle.net client, change realms and log back into your main character. You'll then search the custom group finder and sign up for the group that you created on the Clash Trial. Once again, slap the mighty Alt F4 combo and log back into the game. This time you're going to go back to the Clash Trial character, logging into it, and accepting the request that you've sent yourself from your main character to join your own group. For a final time, you'll use Alt F4 and get back on your main. You should now have a group acceptance notification, and when you agree to join the group, you should see your RP Realm Clash Trial mindlessly staring into the distance if you park near them. Likely they're wondering why their existence is for something so menial and repetitive, but don't worry about them, they won't be touched anymore, as you should now be phased over to the RP Realm Shard. Keep an eye out for other players and the realms that they are from, which should be listed right after their character names. If you see ones you've never heard of before, or that are from the same realm that your Clash Trial was, you should be good to go to farm those rares, or mine that ore, or get those herbs, or whatever you're trying to do with a lot less competition. A couple of warnings though. 
you cannot leave the zone that you have phased into, because by doing so, you'll shift back to the standard sharding that your character is normally a part of, since the RP character is going to be offline at this point for the remainder of your time in that area. This means that you have to repeat this trick for every time you want to swap zones. Another word of caution is that Clash Trials can only get a maximum of 2 hours of playtime, and then they're going to become locked until you pay for a boost. This isn't really a big deal though, since you can just delete the character and repeat this as many times as you want. I believe technically there is an hourly limit of like 4 you can make per hour and 8 you can make per week of Clash Trials, but you're really only on this character for a few minutes at a time. So you'll get a lot of usage out of just doing this whole group up and alt F4 thing back and forth. You really aren't on the class trial that much, so you should get plenty of mileage out of each one. I will post an on-screen snippet from the customer service page regarding class trials. They are kind of limited to what activities they can and can't do. So you can't farm like raid mounts or loot anything directly from the rares or anything cool really. However, since you can use them to shard over your actual real characters, they are still a very powerful means of farming things. And I guess, arguably, if you're on a low pop RP realm and don't have enough people in the open world to help with world content like Obsidian Sanctum, or Soup, or Great Hunts, or you know, other Dragonflight things, then you could make a Clash Trial on a high pop normal realm and use this too, though I feel that is a bit less common of a trick to take advantage of. Anyways folks, I hope this video helps give you some nifty ideas of how you can take advantage of this uh, creative use of login mechanics, as I personally call it. I have found it to be extremely handy. Let me know if you knew about this already, or if you're able to successfully farm whatever it is you're looking for by doing this. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, subscribers, patrons over on Patreon, and Twitch subs. You folks all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.